Hey, look at that, I drew a box. Shit, I'm gonna find a professional graphic illustrator, put them on this computer and see what they can draw. We're gonna boot this sucker up. It's doing absolutely nothing. That's a good sign. Well, that's a big foot. Shoot. <laughs> Command Z. <laughs> oh, I wish. Okay, so just a tiny little problem. And by tiny problem, I mean catastrophic, and now the whole project is gonna be halted. Hey guys, how are you all doing? Really? That's just great. You know, I'm doing pretty great today too because a generous, generous viewer donated this to me. Mint in the shrink wrap and in the box. The Koala Pad Touch Tablet for the Apple IIe and IIc with the graphics software included. Check this thing out, man. A stylus? Who wants a stylus? You gotta get them and put them away and you lose them? Ugh, nobody wants a stylus. So let's not use a stylus. The only thing is though, it's the 80s, so let's just use one, okay? This is what it looks like. Computer graphics, children's education, business graphics, freehand drawing, business software controller. On the back are some cheery pictures of people using it. Charts and graphs. The Nostalgia Critic's brother would be very happy. Tools for education, music, spelling, mathematics, logo, L-O-G-O, -O, must be a program or something. Colorful designs, high resolution graphics. So, okay, we can do a lot of things with this, we can draw with this. So, here's the fun thing. I know of some professional illustrators, some very talented people. So if I can get this thing working, I'd like to see them ditch their iPad Pros and their Wacom Intuos Cintiq devices and try drawing something on this bad boy. Wouldn't that be fun? So first we have to unbox it and then we actually have to get it working with something. Oops, I think I just face planted it. Yeah, I have an Apple IIe that has like not been used probably in over a decade or so and I have a monitor to go with it that also has not been turned on in I'd say at least 10 years. I have no idea if any of that stuff even works but we're gonna plug it in and try it together. But first, let's do something a lot easier. Let's pop this box's cherry. All right, this is like a time capsule. You know, I'm gonna do this a little more delicately. Ooh, that is, that is some tougher shrink wrap than I'm used to. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Wow, the 80s did not f around. Whoa, holy bananas, dude. Oh, hang on, There's there, we have a little bit of like a hole right here. We can just go in there. So I guess it isn't 100% shrink wrap. So now the value just went down by 200%. I'm, I'm trying to be like super careful with this. Okay, well, there's the shrink wrap. Um, I'm not sure what happened here, but there's clearly some discoloration. It even feels different, like over here compared to here. I have no idea what did that. It looks like we have a little flap right here. Let's see if we can infiltrate the fortress. There we go. And I'm guessing this way. This is kind of like that MacBook Air commercial now, where they're taking the computer out of the manila envelope. I'm a new soul and I came to this strange world hoping I would learn about a something. I don't remember the words. All right, ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, I present to you the koala pad. Oh my gosh. Koala pad, touch tablet owner's manual. Let's start inside here. Oh, hey, there's our stylus. Look at that. Here's the stylus. It has, like, it even sounds like a pencil. It kind of feels like a pencil with a slightly rougher exterior, but it's light. It's light like an actual pencil. That is, wow, that f that feels like a freaking pencil. Like it even sounds like a pencil <laughs> when you hit it against this beautiful ass pin table. The Koala Painter Owner's Manual. Looks like we got some little pictograms in there. I'm sure we'll refer to that later. Important, from time to time we would like to keep you informed of new software developments. Oh my gosh, back when you had to frickin' mail this stuff in. Regist warranty registration card. Uh-huh. 
Santa Clara, California. I was just there. I was literally just there. I, I doubt these guys are around anymore. I don't know who's in that office right now. I don't know. I need to look these guys up. I wonder who bought them out or maybe they just went bankrupt or something. I, I really don't know. This is the fun part. Koala Painter. Trademark of Koala Technologies. 1983. Here is our diskette. That is a very clean looking diskette. I mean, this was mint. Like, usually my diskettes that I have are, you know, they've been used for years by other people. This is actually like really clean. Really beautiful. I'm going to make sure that stays in its sleeve for now. We'll get to that soon once we bust out the Unidisc <laughs> with the Apple IIe Enhanced. And yes, there is an Apple IIe Enhanced. There were some people commenting about that, saying that the E stood for Enhanced. Yes, I know. But there was literally an Apple IIe and an Apple IIe Enhanced. It may be redundant, but there were two different models, okay? At least two different models. And here is the Qualipad itself. Well, that was very climactic. I'm just gonna brush some of the packing peanuts off of here, or the styrofoam, I should say. So it looks like the surface got a little wrinkly. So I don't know if the box got damaged, but it did look like the box was also a bit dented. So I'm guessing this thing got hit by something. Looks like it's a little damaged there, but the rest looks very clean, like very untouched by human hands. It's even got a little twist tie still. This is great. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Wow, just credit card payment. Boop, there we go. It's a super minimalistic design. Like this is pretty awesome for the 80s even. Like especially for the 80s, this is cool. This feels better than a lot of those things you freaking sign with a you know, like you're buying something at the store and you sign for your credit card or whatever. This feels like legit. So I'm going to bust out the 2E and the monitor. See if I can get those things working. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. I have all the components. I just don't know if they work. All right. Well, we're in this together. Let's do it. And kaboom. Here we go. An Apple 2E enhanced with our power there, our slots. And I believe we just use the... I don't know if that's called the joystick port or whatever. I'm just looking at the shape of it and it matches what's on the freaking tablet, so I think we'll be okay. As for the video interface, it looks like we have composite. Pretty standard analog connection. I have a composite cable, but I'm not sure if it's gonna work with the old monitor I have. Speaking of the old monitor. There we go, this bad boy right here. Look at that, all right. <laughs> so I don't have the composite cable that came with it, but I have a composite cable. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but you know what? We're never gonna know if we don't just freaking do it. Let's find out together. Man, the power cable on this monitor is just coated in dust. It's may not look too bad, but you can just feel it. It's like, oh, you can just feel the caked on dust. I'm gonna be sick. All right, we got the monitor plugged in. Now I'm gonna try my composite cable idea. Could totally fail. Okay, well, Crazy Ken, just have a little confidence. Sure, it's not the cable that came with it, but like, it's analog. It's not like it really changed much. Okay, we're all plugged in. Let's have a look. Ooh, I hear a ring. I hear an electric ring, so this thing is turning on. Oh shit, look at that. Well, I'll be. Whatever that means. I mean, I am be, I always am being. <laughs> that is delightful. Look at that monochrome. Oh, the koala pad's not gonna be able to show color, but whatever. Boot it up. This is amazing. It's working. It just worked on the first try, and this stuff was made in the late 80s, and it probably hasn't been turned on in over 10 years, probably over 20 years. And it just worked. First try. Oh boy. Let's not touch that dial. <laughs> Don't touch that dial, you'll everything up. Success. We just need to get the Unidisc hooked up along with the Koala Pad. So let's shut it down. And I know I have that Unidisc somewhere. I'm gonna have to find that. Okay, so just a tiny little problem. And by tiny problem, I mean catastrophic, and now the whole project is gonna be halted. I recycled the Unidisc. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I had two of them, and I recycled one of them. I thought, pfft, Whatever, I have a second one. I just remembered back in 2008, I made a stupid video where I disassembled it with a friend. 
and never reassembled it. So that one was already recycled when I thought I had it as a backup. I had two. They both got recycled. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna have to hit up Shmibe and see what I can find. Because we have no way to put a disc in here. The thing is, I, I, I seriously looked for like an hour before realizing this. It was kind of, or maybe like a half hour. It's kind of a waste of time. And the insulting thing was I found two floppy disks and some other cool Apple peripherals, which are nice. So I guess, hey, it's not all lost. But yeah, I found two disks and no disk drive. That's just a sucker punch to the gonads. Okay, off to Shmibe. Here we go. Let's find one. You know the expression, your network is your net worth? Well, that was proven once again. I am very grateful to be surrounded by a community of techies because whenever I need a five and a quarter inch Unidisc drive, you just call someone up on the old telephone and they'll give it to you. Shout out to Christian for donating this for today's experiment. And we have our software now that we can actually load into the computer now that we have the disc drive. And I noticed it was kind of interesting uh, this stuff on the back, it's like safety precautions for your, not your floppy disk, but for your flexible disk. Interesting. All right, let's boot the sucker up. Monitor power up. Koalaware jacket with our Koala Painter flexible disk. Kind of doing this without seeing too well. There we go. And the satisfying little click there. And it's not much of a click, it's more of a chunk. And finally power with a nice little beep sound. I love that beep. Here we go. Oh, we had something show up on the screen. I couldn't really read it from my point of view, but there we are. Koala Painter in monochrome. Now's a good time to get the actual hardware set up. Now I've been lied to before about hot plugging things. Some people say, Oh, you shouldn't hot plug ADB devices. And then some people are like, Oh, that's just a myth. So I really don't know who to trust anymore. But good job, you have put me into a constant state of paranoia, YouTube commenter, so I really appreciate that. So I can't trust myself with plugging this thing in while the computer is on. One weird thing about this, it's almost like a snakeskin sort of thing going on here. Like the styrofoam, that white stuff in the middle, the styrofoam from the packaging is like permanently stuck on it. It looks kind of like a, a snakeskin or something. Ooh. So yeah, since I can't trust anyone anymore, I'm going to power this thing down. Then plug in the graphics tablet to the joystick port. No screws necessary. Kinda cool. Stylus, there we go. Who wants a stylus? Boot her up. Ah, such a pleasant sound. All right, so probably can't do anything right there, uh, I guess. Let's see how this works. Oh, okay, so the buttons are working. Oh, there we go, we got, we got a crosshair. Storage, mirror, magnify. Don't really know how to control this. Arrow keys don't let me make a selection. So let's see, do I click on... Oh, there we go, we got beeps. Okay, so I think I know what's going on here. Let's go here. I'm gonna, move, I'm gonna move this a little closer to me <laughs> so I can uh, sign my name with my credit card. There you go. You gotta press and hold down the button to draw. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be... Oh, I don't know what I just did there. It like drew a straight line. Oh, what the? Okay, well, we kind of got something going on. Uh, I'm trying to figure out this interface though. Wow, this is really fidgety. So I can draw a box now? Hey, look at that, I drew a box. Shit, and it filled in my box. That is the sexiest box I ever did see. Pretty cool, all right, well, that's impressive. All right, well, let's uh, get out of there. I wanna see what's in the storage area. Let's see if we can save our stuff anywhere. Oh, it's accessing the disc. Okay, Koala Painter by Island Graphics, Storage, Catalog Disc, Disc File Utilities, Load, Standard DOS 3.3 Picture, Save. Standard DOS 3.3 Picture, so we can save and load. All right, Insert Target Disc. So I'm, I'm guessing we can't save onto this diskette because it's probably read only, but I don't have another Unidisc or a blank floppy to save to, so we're just gonna have to do all this in the computer's memory for now. So let's get out of here. 
All right, lift stylus, press button for picture and menu. Okay, so when you're not drawing and you press any of the buttons, that's what switches between the menu and the picture. So I think I'm getting the grasp of this a little bit. Let's just erase the whole thing. Select color to erase picture. Okay. Uh, did I just fill the picture? Oh, well, that's beautiful. B1, is that black one? I don't know. Let's do that. There we go. All right, so let's start over. See if we can draw something here. Now, I'm not the greatest illustrator, but if I can figure some of this out, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a professional graphic illustrator, put them on this computer, and see what they can draw. Let's see all of their skills go to waste on 80s technology. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm so evil, even my goosebumps have goosebumps. Okay, so palm blocking isn't 100% functioning here. It actually did pick up my finger, it seems. I'm using my finger right now, and it's triggering it a little bit. So let's try to not do that. Let's try to draw something. Yeah, you just gotta push kinda hard, otherwise you get little gaps. Let's do the Mac Picasso face. And give him a nice smile. A nice crooked smile. Oh, well, we got something. Let me, uh, let me sign this for you. I just did a menu. Okay, hang on. Yeah, let's sign this. So hold it down. Oh, if you tap on the other side of the tablet, it jumps the cursor. Okay, I'm learning stuff. There we go. I signed my name. This is gonna be a treat. I cannot wait to torture a graphic illustrator with this program. Let's black this thing out again. Let's try something different. Let's try the old hello from the old Macintosh. Kind of? I mean, that's not, that's not terrible. Could probably be neater. But hey, give me a break. This is the first time I'm using this thing. On a real graphics tablet, like one from this millennium, I can draw better. Magnify. Okay. Oh, shit. We, oh, hello. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool, man. We can just like pan and zoom around our thing. Oh. Oh, and you can lay, oh, shit. You can lay pixel by pixel. Individual pixels here. You can really be precise with this. There we go. Yeah, you gotta push kind of hard. Otherwise it kind of... Yep. Well, now it's an anime mouth. You know, they always have like a gap right there or something. But yeah, that's not too bad, man. It's it, For what it is and what year it's from, that's impressive. We can be, a, we can be like a, a doctor. Be like, hey, here's your EKG. That's probably not a very healthy one. I don't know what I'm doing, but... There you go, your, your patient is healthy. And we determine that with our KoalaWare, Koala Paint software. Well, let's try some... Discs! Ooh! Ah, oh, nice, I love that animation right there, that's pretty cool. Let's get a, another circle here. Or a disc, excuse me. Hey, we got something going on. Okay, let's go back to the menu. We got something going on. Let's get a brush. Yeah, that right there. That is art. And we'll draw some pupils. There we go. It's coming along. Well, on this device, that's probably the best I can do. Now I'm gonna track down that graphic illustrator and I'm gonna torture her with this machine. And while I track down the artiste, I must conserve power, which scientifically I don't think is 100% possible, but you know what I mean. Sorry face, nothing personal. All right, ladies and germs, so I found that graphical illustrator I was talking about earlier. Everyone say hi to Heidi. Thank you, that was very nice of you. <laughs> What do you, so what do you normally draw on? What's your like go-to device for drawing? Uh, well, I really just love drawing on like just regular paper. Uh, uh, paper. That's the way to do it. You don't have battery life. You don't have to worry about saving. It's very nice. And I like sketching with just regular pencils and blue pencils and red pencils. Oh yeah. And then just going in with uh, classic ink. 
Um, I like brush pens and stuff, but uh, lately I've been using, can I show this on here? Yeah, show me that <laughs> okay. thing, man, that thing lately is huge. Lately I've been using this awesome iPad. So this is what you're gonna be drawing on today. Uh, how, do you, how does that make you feel? <laughs> well, I, I saw it earlier and I was like, oh, mm. that looks so cool. <laughs> yes, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so there's no screen on it. You're just gonna kind of be doing it uh, yeah. kind of blind. Uh, could you reach me that stylus right there? Uh, yes. Yeah. So let's see, we have the Koala Pad stylus, as it says on there. Why don't you take a hold of that? This probably actually feels more like a pencil than like today's modern stylus is doing. Yeah, and it's a lot lighter than the uh, Apple Pencil that I got mm -hmm. with my iPad here. Yeah. That one is like freakishly heavy. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hook you up with this guy and you're gonna be drawing a picture. Now, I hope you like right. green. I hope you like green, because that's the only color you've got. Well, green is good. You're... It's close to my favorite color, blue. Good. All right, so let's hook this up and give it a shot. What do you say? Awesome. All right, let's do it. <laughs> all right, so you all cozy down there, ready to make some artistic magic? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna boot this sucker up. That crunching sound is normal, by the way. That's a <laughs> floppy disk for you. Okie dokie. Let's take a look at what we got on the screen. Once it warms up, I hope I plug this in right. There it is. It's doing absolutely nothing. That's a good sign. <laughs> good. We're off to a good start. Can you press the reset button for me right there? The There's right a... one? Oh, no, the this one right left... here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I want you to contribute to this. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if that works. There we go. So here's your software. Ooh. This nice. Is, oh yeah, so I gotta actually see what's going on so I can guide you. Uh, so yeah, pr uh, press return on the keyboard there. Of course. So this is the menu. You choose like what shape you wanna draw, what colors you wanna draw with. You see that little cross here that shows oh, up? Oh yeah. So you can use that to select like your colors down here and stuff like that and you just mm -hmm. use this like a mouse, like that's your click. So like if you were to click on like, like yeah, like th those brush are your brush size. sizes, yeah. Yeah. So if you click on it, watch what happens. See how it changes there? Oh yeah, like it selected it. Anytime you want to get to your canvas, you just lift the stylus and click. Just yep. this one? The way you actually draw is you gotta hold down the button. I had a feeling it was gonna be something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Have fun! Oh, okay, I figured something out here. Whee! <laughs> so if I were to lift the stylus, and we got the right brush. Nice. Okay, now I... Make magic Wait. happen. Okay. <laughs> it's a bowling ball, yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. Maybe I should retry this. Oh, it's, it's okay. Oh, fudge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what am I on now? I Whoa, you're, you're, you're sweet! On, you're on the mirror mode, I guess. Did you know this was on here? I knew it was on there, but I never tried it. Wee! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> That's actually really trippy. <laughs> yeah. Okay, should I just go back to... Um... Yeah, mirror selected, yeah. Oh, dude. This feels really mathematical. <laughs> mathematical! Oh my gosh. That is beautiful. <laughs> Sorry. Shit! I don't know if this is going to look anything like him. Oh, but then you, I don't have room for his ears. <laughs> Oh! Whoa! Whoa it something. like jumped around. <laughs> something happened there. You can draw with a smaller brush. Oh, that would probably be nice. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Command Z, Control Z. Oh, I, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I love it. You gotta remember. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, it did it again. I was just trying to fill in the. Oh no. Oh yeah, it likes to jump around. Oh boy. The body's looking. Oh! Whoa! I, I did not do too, that. It I just went wee. Too soon. I was like, the body looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, guys. I think the new fire starter looks really good. I'm trying to shade it. <laughs> oh my! Oh my God! It's You're, not working. It's gonna be hard to shade on a one-bit monochrome display, but I know it's possible. I thought it couldn't hurt to try. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, no. That was the worst so far. I'm done. <laughs> oh, look at that! It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Um, should I try to draw a squirrel? Squirrels are cool. What if I try to draw really fast? It probably won't work. I've tried it, but you can certainly try it. Yeah, see? Whoa, okay, yeah. Yep, time to wipe that out. <laughs> slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, you gotta go like really slow with this thing. 
This is looking more like a bird than... Maybe I should just make it a bird. Or maybe... It wants to be a bird. It wants to be a bird. Screw the squirrel. This is a bird. <laughs> you can actually tell it's a bird. <laughs> oh my gosh, this would oh! be... Oh! He's got a big talon. He's a little deformed. That's okay. <laughs> He's still beautiful. Is that a sun? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> Let's Bob Ross this thing and put some happy trees in mm -hmm. here. Should I try to draw like an anime character or something? Go for I it. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you should like do it and like, I'll try to figure out what it is before you Oh, okay. It. All right. Then I won't tell you who he is. Or she. Oh, oh. <laughs> or she. All right. Hatsune Miku! <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Just a guess. Pretty good. Ooh, I don't know if I have enough room. Oh no. That's okay. If only we knew how the scale tool worked. <laughs> <laughs> I could zoom out. Now, this was one of my favorite animes when I was a kid. Oh, yeah? It actually kind of got me into anime. So while she's working on that, I just wanted to take the time to thank the awesome viewer that donated this tablet. Dashel, thank you so much. And his former instructor, Mr. Staley, I believe he Whoops. got it from an old university he used to go to. And again, Christian, thank you for donating the uni disc because without that, we couldn't actually run the software. Yeah, I tried to write his name right there. <laughs> I, I had to split it into two parts and the this letter here it wanted to do its own thing. <laughs> Looks exactly like him. <laughs> the shape of the eyebrows kind of right. That's I mean, not like too they're, bad. They're a little thicker. But That's not too bad at all. I tried to write Inuyasha, so the U just kind of went, wee! <laughs> <laughs> all right, let me think about space here mm -hmm. and size. It's a turnip. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, no, shoot. <laughs> Command Z! <laughs> oh, I wish. You'll have to black brush it. Uh-huh. All right, so... What the heck? <laughs> Oh, this tablet, what is it doing? Okay. Well, maybe just, you, you can erase that now or later, whatever you wish. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I should just go as far as I can with drawing yeah. and then go back to the eraser. <laughs> okay, let's just go back to... <laughs> that was not me. He's pointing at you. He's like, you get off my lawn. <laughs> that, I know that was not you. I saw it. Uh... I saw it. It's not your fault. He's looking kind of creepy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do kill your Pokemon. <laughs> He's plotting. He's like, I kind of, I kind of picked up on that. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's good. Should try it again. Well, that's a big foot. <laughs> uh, maybe tiny. Monster hunting. We found Bigfoot, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Not too shabby. Oh wait, I missed something here. Go. Little. There we go. That is a beautiful one-bit monochrome score bunny. Ta-da! <laughs> there we go. Ta -da. Ta -da. There, that's better. <laughs> Show them the original sketch you did on the iPad. So. There we go. There. Look at the difference in technology there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like a therapist for a sec. How does using 80s technology make you feel? Humble and grateful for the <laughs> technology we have nowadays. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. That's a, yeah, that's it pretty It really spot helped on. to use a reference. That, yeah, that's pretty good. We're going we're gonna to zoom into this guy. Click on the click. Yeah, what? I guess it's a click. Click on the uh, magnifying. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. The one that I was hovering over a lot. Yeah, I'm an idiot. Okay. All right, so now you should be able to like pan around when you like... Move so, the cursor. Oh my yeah, gosh. so now don't draw anything, but like just move around. And see, let's yeah. see, we'll get our bearings here. Where are Oh, we? there's his face. There's his face. <laughs> it was really hard to get the uh, little rectangle between his eyes. Yeah. To look kind of decent in this pixelated. I mean, we're working beauty. with a really low resolution canvas, so I, I think people picked up on it. Yeah, that was awesome. Well, thank you so much for doing that. Yeah, thanks for. Having me try it out. This oh. is a lot of fun. Oh, of course. I mean, it gets lonely down here in the lair. I need to have some people down here. 
Well, it was nice of the guards to escort the artist out. I really appreciate her helping us out, and I appreciated myself for torturing her with this device. So thank you guys again for the donations. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any other hardware or software you want to suggest that you can torture me with and I can torture other people with on the show, feel free to give me a recommendation. And if you have a donation you would like to make, even just a temporary one, I would appreciate it very much, because then everybody wins and loses at the same time. This was a lot of fun. Thanks guys for sticking with me, catch the crazy, and pass it on.